In the previous video, I introduced Copilot plugin to you for running AI tasks for your notes in Obsidian. I mainly used ChatGPT model and it was definitely making life easier. However, using ChatGPT or other services for your notes means you're compromising your information on your notes in exchange of running AI tasks. So if you are concerned about your data privacy, today's video will be beneficial for you. We're gonna learn how to use Olama to to run local LMM on your machine and use it for Obsidian. So let's talk about a few terms first. What is local LMM? Local LMM typically refers to running a large language model like Llama 2, Llama 3, Mistral locally on your machine or server rather than accessing it through a cloud API provided by the company that create the model like OpenAI. So what is the deal of using local LMM? The first thing is you don't have to send your data to a third party cloud services when using the model. This is critical as we are concerned about our nodes being exposed and you don't have to pay subscription fees like when you use ChatGPT Plus or Cloud A. Yet the performance of the model is directly limited to your computer's available resource. However, we can be a little smart to choose the right model for your machine. So what is Ulama? Ulama is an open source project that streamlines the process of running, running local LMMs, making it easy for everyone to use them. The main advantage of using Ulama is that it simplifies downloading, managing, and running models. Currently, it supports Llama 2, Llama 3, V3, Mistral, Gemma and it's free to run these models on your machine. So let's dive in into how to use this for our Obsidian. So let's install Olama first. Go to the website, download based on your operating system. Once it's downloaded, you should be able to run the Olama commands. As a head up, Olama require you to know a little bit about terminal, but I will cover all you need, so don't get scared. So when you're ready, open up the terminal. First thing you can do is to type Olama. This will show you the available commands. Out of all, we need only list, pull, run, and serve for today's setup. I will explain each of them right now. The first command is pull. Olama pull model name. This will try to download a model if it doesn't exist on your machine yet. Once you download it, you can use Olama list to check out the downloaded models on your machine. And you can also check out models page in the official website to see what are the available models they provide. Here are models and they have Llama 3, V3, Mistral, Gemma, Code Gemma, etc. So back to the terminal, the next command I want to let you know is Olama run. Olama run model name like this will download and start a chat with that model right inside the terminal. This is amazing as you can have conversation with AI directly in the terminal. So hello word in Python, for example. But that's not what we want for Obsidian. We want a local server for running AI inside Obsidian. To do so, we need to use serve command. This can be a little tricky as you have to specify origin to avoid any course issue. Simply type llama origin app obsidian.md llama serve. Then we're done on the server side. I'll put this command down in the description so you can easily copy and paste it without any headaches. Next thing is go to Obsidian Copilot. Open up the Obsidian and change the default model from the previous one to Olama Local. And scroll all the way down to Olama Model and specify model you want to run with. For my case, I will, I will use V3. Before you close this setting, make sure to save and reload. 
your configuration so that Obsidian will reflect your changes. Now you're good to go. There is one note. If your computer has smaller RAM, I'd recommend to try smaller model. Otherwise, you will get freezed and frustrated with the speed and want to compromise your data for the speed that cloud provides. For my case, when I use Llama 3, literally my computer stops working, but I was able to run V3 smoothly with Mac Air 8GB M1 setup. You can use Obsidian with Llama like you use with ChatGPT. Ask summarization, explain like I'm five year old, translate, make templates easier, watch my another video to take advantage of AI for your notes, yet without concerns of your notes being exposed to anyone. My primary reason for using Obsidian was data privacy, so I finally felt at home with Llama. We covered how to install Llama and use them with Obsidian for your notes. I think a lot of services currently ask your data in exchange for their services. However, your notes, idea, thoughts may be the most important value. So protect them while still utilizing what AI offers for your productivity. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe this channel. See you in another video.